This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so uh, I will be starting our next topic that is uh, methods of uh, executing. Okay, so the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see total MRP, total MRP, and the new MRP line, okay, which is in S4 HANA. MRP planning sequence what is MRP planning sequence, how it uh, gets carried out in single item planning, we will see how to carry out MRP for single item. Then we will see interactive planning. Okay. Then scope of planning. What is scope of planning and why it is used? Then different MRP procedures. Okay. So basically, uh, MRP can be carried out in various methods. Huh? Okay. First is total plan. Total plan. Total planning means planning of all materials in one or more plans. Okay. So normally, all the time I am showing you the transaction MD02 just to run MRP for a single material, single material. But in the real time, they run MRP at plant level. Okay, that is total planning. So it can be again done as online. They can do it online. That means foreground or they can do it as a background job. Background job. That means system only will run based on a uh, time you specify in the system as a background job at a particular time. Okay. I'll show you all these things in the system. This is total planning. One. Next one is single item plan. That means you run MRP for only for one material, which we were doing all the time. Single item, multi level. Single item means single material, multi level. Planning a material bomb, entire its bomb structure. Another one is sometimes some companies use single item, single level, but this is not used much. Next one is single item planning interactive. This I will show it in the system. And another one is in the S4 HANA, they came up with a new concept called MRP Live. MRP Live, which is again, you can do it as an interactive or as a background job. But here you have a lot of flexibility in the selection screen, which I will show it in the system. So first we'll start with the total MRP. So total MRP means this is the one. MRP, you can do it in two ways. One is total MRP. Total MRP, it is nothing but running MRP at plant level. Plant level. So when you run MRP at plant level, it will plan all the materials in the plant. Plant level. Okay. So this can be done in two methods. One is online. I'll show you everything. Online. Another one is it can be done as a background. Background job. Both ways you can do. Okay, now let's see one by one. So, online first, let's put this matter got disconnected. Okay, I'll show you the menu path also. Go to logistics, go to production go to mrp okay go to planning yeah total plan open this md01 online this is a t code online the t code is md01 okay so what you can do here is double click here you give the plant let's say i want to run mrp for all the materials in the plant 1717 you give the plant here and we will discuss this control parameters in a minute and just try to execute. Then it will uh, run the MRP for all the materials in this plant, but it will take some time. Okay, it's not like single metal. Single metal, it's, it's happening just in 10 seconds, but at plant level, it will take time. It depends upon the number of materials. Okay, if you have more materials, it will it may take one hour also. Okay, so this is front end foreground execution. So this is total MRP. You are, you are trying to run MRP for all the materials in this plant. That is called total MRP. Online. Now, instead of doing it online, as it takes time, they, they execute this as a background job. Background job. So in this background job, they will provide the time, time and frequency. OK, 
Okay, they will give the frequency. Okay, that means system only automatically will run frequency like daily, weekly, monthly. They will give normal. Okay, and the time. At what time it has to run? They will provide this during the background job schedule. Okay, so this background job scheduling I will show you when we go to configuration in the miscellaneous topics. Here I will show you how to schedule a background job. Okay, so these are the two methods. One is online, FD01. Another one is you can schedule it as a background. Okay, so interviews they will ask this question to check your real time experience. They will ask this question in your current client when they when do they run MRP? Okay, you have to tell. It normally the MRP is executed in the non-business hours. It is executed during normally non-business hours. That means in the night. Non-business hours. They will schedule normally in the night around one o'clock or something. They will they will uh, execute it as a background job. So automatically it will run. Okay. No need to run uh, manually. Manually. Okay. So that is basically here. If you see here. This one as a background job, MD meeting, but this I will show you later point of time. When we go to background job schedulings, the topic I will show you that time. Okay. So this is the total MR. Total MR. That means basically you are running at plant level. You are right, you are running at plant level. Now the next one is single item plan. Single item. Single item means single meter. That's all. They call it a single item. There is nothing but single meter. Single material. Okay, so single material you have various methods. First is single item multi level, which we were using all the time. Single item multi level. Multi level. Multi level. That is this one. Ah, that's okay. Before going into sorry, single item planning, when you run MRP at plant level, normally this is how it happens system first it will try to plan all the materials with low level code triple zero this already we discussed once all those materials mrp is completed then system move to system will plan the mrp for the materials with low level code double zero once those materials mrp is finished it will move to the it will run the mrp for the next materials with low level code double zero like this the sequence will go on this we discussed already what is this low level code, where it is stored, why it is used, all those things we discussed already. This is during total MRP because here you will be giving the plant, right? So how system will know which material it has to plan first? What is the sequence? That sequence is through this low level code. This is in the total MRP. Okay. So now we will move on to the single item. So single item, first one is the single item multi level. Single item multi. So single item multi-level, what happens is on the screen you give only the this material, but system will plan the entire bomb structure, the one which we discussed in the previous session. It will plan along with this material entire its bomb structure. It will plan all the metals of them. The T code is MD02, the one which we were using all the time. T code is MD02. Okay. Now again, here you have one more also. That is single item, single level, but it is not used much. Okay, there is no point in doing single item, single level, but we have that option in the system. Single item, single level. Single level. Okay, so that is MD03, I think. Okay, let me check. Now see this one. Single item, multi level single item planning, MD02, which we were using all the time. Okay, now the next one is single item, single level, single item plan, MD03. Here only the difference is it will plan only one level. It will plan only one level. The, it, the, its bomb components are not planned. Okay, but this is not used much. Huh? It is not used much. Planning one bomb level only. Okay. Now the next one is interactive plan. Okay, interactive planning means we can see the front end results. Okay, so to run the single interactive planning single item interactive you can select a transaction i'll show you this or in the md02 in the md02 transaction 
you can select this option display results before they are saved this option you can select i will show you this in the system or another option is single item multi -level. 